So on the next process, uh, Rebecca, that you missed is if you guys look at this equation, this one's a little bit different. So there's something special about that last one because we had a variable that had a coefficient of 1, right? And we liked that, Brianna, because it had a coefficient of 1, it was easy to solve for that variable. However, and when you have a case like this, we don't have a variable that has a coefficient of 1. If you still like substitution, you can still apply substitution, Jordan, but it becomes a little bit more difficult. That's why we like to look at using elimination, which we looked at. So when applying elimination, basically what we're doing, rather than solving for one variable and plugging what that um, expression is into the other equation, basically what we're doing is we're adding it or subtracting the two equations. So to add or subtract, it only makes sense to add or subtract the equations is when you have the variable, the equations with um, coefficients that are exactly the same. So I look at, make sure my variables are aligned, which they are. Then I look at the coefficients of the variables to see if they're the same. Well, the coefficients of x's aren't the same, nor are the coefficients of the y the same. All right? So I need to say, all right, well, which one does it matter which one is going to have the smaller coefficient or the least common multiple? Well, six, forget about the negatives. Three and six have a least common multiple of six, and two and four have a least common multiple of four. So any, either way, to get them to be the same, all I need to do is multiply my top equation by two. So I'm going to do that. So I multiply the top equation by 2. And when I do that, I obtain 6x minus 4y equals 10. And then my bottom equation is going to remain the same, negative 6x plus 4y equals 7. Now, usually, when we're doing elimination, we're only eliminating one variable at a time. But as you guys notice, when I multiply this, now, both of my variables have coefficients that are exactly the same. Do you guys see that? And since the coefficient is one's positive, one's negative, should I add the equations or subtract the equations to eliminate, to get to 0? I should just add them. Well, see, that you, you can multiply by, like, if these were both positive, I would say multiply this by negative 2, because then that would be negative 6, positive 6. But you already have a negative 6, so make one positive, one negative, and that's fine. Now, let's go ahead and add them. 6x plus negative 6x is 0x. Negative 4y plus positive 4y is 0y equals 17. 0x plus 0y is 0 equals 17. So I look at that, and I determine, all right, this system of equations is it has a false statement. It doesn't tell me what x is equal to or what y is equal to. It gives me a false statement. Since they give me a false statement, Kujan, this is um, a no solution. There is never going to be an intersection that is going to be true for either of these equations. So therefore, it's no solutions. That, If you're going to look at the graph of that, it represent 